This is connecting your digital crop plan to your digital purchase. So uh, I'm Ben Johnson. I'm a product marketing manager here at Farmer's Edge. And today I'm joined by Harley Rensing, a uh, client success manager at Commodity Ag. So Commodity Ag and Farmer's Edge, you know, we're, we're working together, you know, to, for, to enhance our, our digital ecosystem to elevate the online marketplace and create some uh, deeper connectivity between farmers and retailers and trusted advisors. Um, so what we want to do today is we want to do a little bit of a demonstration of, of going through the, the crop planner portion of the Farm Command platform and then um, how we can transition that data into Commodity Ag to help us with our purchasing of, of products online. So uh, with that, I'm going to jump into a live demo here. And so this is this is crop planner. So this happens to be crop planner for my farm. I have a couple scenarios that I've created. There's, you know, in crop planner, uh, we can create uh, really infinite scenarios. We can do this in uh, create scenarios in a lot of ways. We can create a scenario where we have everything that we're going to purchase for the entire year all in one scenario. Um, we can break it down like I've done here, where I've got some different categories of uh, inputs that I've I've made their own. Uh, crop plan for, um, which does come in handy in, in a specific scenario that I'm going to share here. But yeah, so if we just take a look here at one of my plants here, so my chemicals for the year. Um, <clears throat> so I've got my uh, crops that I'm going to grow this year. Um, I've got the fields selected here, and then I've got all of the different applications that I'm going to have with different chemicals that I'm planning on at this point in the year. So I've got my pre-emergent pass for my corn. Um, you know, both of these fields are going to be, they're going to be getting the same chemical at the same rate. So I've, I've grouped them together and I can see how much, how many units I need to purchase. Um, so that's, that's great. And then we can just do that for just every, you know, every chemical application across the field. So here I've got my Roundup. Um, I've got my fungicide pass as well. So um, I've got, you know, some different chemicals that I've put together at the different rates and so forth. And so, once we have that together, we can, um, you know, take those and we can actually turn these into an actual quote. Um, so we can take action here and we can uh, generate a quote from a crop plan. I already have one uh, created from that one. So here's my chemicals 2022. So there's a couple things I can do with this. I can download this either into a PDF here, which we can see right here so here's just a nice pdf with with all the chemicals i planned on purchasing uh and the amounts and and so forth and then we can also do this in a uh excel spreadsheet as well excel to open up here really quick and so yeah it's the same information just a different format and both of these we can actually submit over to uh the commodity Ag website and with that i'll pass it over to harley to go through that process. Perfect, thank you. So um, when we get these quotes from Farmer's Edge or from Farm Command, um, our goal is to have one of our client success team members reach out via email or phone call to discuss the quote and our ability to fill that um, those products. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a live demo of our website. So. Um, when that quote comes from Farm Command, uh, like I said, we will reach out. And when you're ready to complete your purchase, we recommend that you come online and you create an account. So when you first get to commoditag.com, it is going to drop you in your nearest fulfillment center. So from there, you can change your fulfillment center. If it drops you in a location you don't think it did it correctly, if you click there, It'll give you a map of all of our different fulfillment centers, and you can uh, search by your city, state, or zip code to find out which location is actually closest to you. So from there, we can change. I'm going to move this to the box. There we go. So you can change your fulfillment center. So if you would rather, uh, you know, you're going to the Effingham area, so you could switch your fulfillment center um, to be able to pick up in that location instead. So from here, we would recommend you create an account. So you can go to welcome guests and create an account. 
you're going to want to type in your email address and hit sign up with email. And here it's going to prompt you to type in your personal details, billing details, and to check the box that says I've agreed to the privacy policy. So after you fill in all this information and hit register, it is going to tell you that um, you'll receive an email to help you finish setting up a password and to finish your account. So I completed these steps earlier, um, so I'll just dive into what the what you're going to see once you get logged in. So after you get your password set up, it is going to take you to a um, an account screen. Uh, it's going to say welcome and then your name. You have lots of different options here to customize your profile. You have basic information. If you ever need to change your password, uh, your applicator license, addresses, order history, billing info, um, all of that kind of stuff. When we recommend customers set up this account, there's lots of reasons. The main reasons that I like to uh, explain are setting up a tax exempt form. So the reason that's important is we do have a lot of farmers that are tax exempt. That does vary by state how that how that actually works. So we recommend that they upload a document so we can get them approved for tax exemption. And then every time they log in, they are tax exempt for their order. We also recommend uploading their applicator license. That's for restricted use products. So when you go to check out, if that product is restricted in the state that you will be using the product in, if we have that on file, you'll be able to add it to your cart. And then um, you can set up your shipping address if you're preferring to have the product direct ship to you, or um, that information is whether or not you want to have them actually ship to you. So after you get your account set up, um, you can start browsing for products. So if we submit, or if you submit a quote and we agree on some products, our client success team can push those products to your cart for you. So if you're working with one of us, we can build your cart for you, make it super simple for you. Uh, however, if you come to our website and you just want to look at products, you just kind of want to check out what we have, there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can go to browse products and it's going to show you all of our product categories and it's going to show you brands, the different sales that we have going on and our data services. So from here, you can just decide you want to look at crop protection and it's going to filter by all of our crop protection products. On the left hand side here, you can see that you can filter uh, further down. So if you're looking for a specific active ingredient, uh, maybe you're looking for adjuvants. Um, if you're looking for stuff that's not restricted because maybe your license has expired, anything like that. So we're going to go into adjuvants and there it filtered it down even further for us. So you can uh, see the different products that we're carrying. And then if you decide you want to add a product to your cart, you can add it straight from this screen. It's going to give you the, uh, well, the promotion yeah. price, which we have going on right now. Yeah and the volume price that we have going on right now, that is gonna change um, into February. We'll transition into just having a normal list price and some sale products. Um, and then here in the middle, we have the different sizes of that product that we carry. So for this Eclipse's NIS, you can get it in the five gallon cases or the 250 totes. We'll go ahead and add that to our cart. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna continue shopping or view that cart. We're going to go ahead and continue shopping. So another way that you can find the products that you're looking for is you can use our search bar. So we're going to go ahead and search for glyphosate. We're going to hit search. And it's going to bring up the different products that we're carrying at this time. Um, and it's also going to bring up products that we may have sold out of. So for example, at this time, we don't have Roundup Power Max available. But we do have Credit Extreme and Buccaneer Plus, which are both similar uh, glyphosate products. So we're going to go ahead and click actually into the product so we can see a little more information. So when we click on the product name, it's going to bring us to a product page. On this product page, it's going to show you those available sizes. So at this time, we're just selling the five gallon case. On the right hand side, it's going to show the different prices. It's going to give you information about the product itself. 
And if we have any uh, limitations on sales, at, uh, like at this time, so right now we're selling 360 gallons of Buccaneer Plus per customer, um, those kind of notices are gonna be here as well. Down at the bottom, it's gonna show you some products that are frequently bought together and similar products. So down here, it's gonna show you both the Buccaneer Plus and Credit Extreme, which we're selling, or which available for sale. They're both glyphosate brands, and they're gonna compare them side by side. Back up here at the top, you're gonna to see the option to add it to our cart, save it for later, the SDS product label and the product state, reg product state registration map. So um, each of those you can download and then the product state map, that's gonna show you where this product is available for sale and available for use. So um, in these states, you can use Buccaneer Plus, we can sell it into those states. Um, so if you're searching something and um, it's something that we do not have, everything's popping up and saying that it's not available at this time, we also have the ability to request a quote right from our website. So if you click on request a quote, it will give you the option to type in your name, address, drop in a file. So you could drop in the file that you got from Farm Command, um, or you can just type in products here at the bottom. This file uh, will automatically send to our client success team and basically we would start the process over. Someone from our team would contact you, we'd talk about products, uh, make sure we can get what you need, and then you can uh, go through the checkout process. So once you're ready to check out, you can click the cart or the tractor, which is the cart in the top right hand corner. And it's gonna take you to your cart. So here it's gonna show you the product um, that you're purchasing, the amount that you're purchasing, and when you can pick up that product. So at this time, we hold all of our orders until after February 28th. If you are looking for products before that, we recommend you just call into Commodity Ag and we can see if it's something that we currently have on hand or if it, we can get sooner than that February 28th um, time frame. So from there, you can choose your fulfillment option. It is going to list your fulfillment center right here at the top. If you choose to have it shipped direct, that is a charge that goes straight to the grower. Uh, so our website calculates that for you. But picking up at your local fulfillment center, there is no charge for us to get it there for you. From this screen, you can also upload your tax exempt document. If you, if you didn't when you set up your account, you can do it here. We have the option for coupon codes if you've been given one and then the option to put in an order referral here at the bottom. So if you talk to one of our client success representatives, uh, if you came over from Farmer's Edge, that kind of stuff you can put here uh, so we know where you, uh, where you came into our website from. And then you can hit check out. Here it's gonna ask who is picking up this order. So sometimes uh, the farmer will purchase and then He'll send one of his farm hands to actually pick up the product. So we like to have that information just in case they show up to pick it up and their name's not on the order. And here it's gonna ask for your billing information. Um, it's gonna ask for billing address and how you would like to pay. If you pay with a debit card or ACH, there is not gonna be any fee for that. If you pay with a credit card, there is a credit card surcharge. And here's where you would type in that um, payment information and change the billing address if needed and then agreeing to the terms and conditions at the bottom. So after you complete that payment, uh, you have the option to view your order history on your account. So that's another reason we like to recommend having an account set up with Commodity Ag. We'll exit out of this. We're gonna go back to our account. And right here uh, at the top, it's gonna to say my orders. And as soon as you place that order, uh, it's gonna either say processing local, ready for pickup, or uh, potentially after February 28th, if that's when uh, that product is gonna be ready. So this, this product is ready for pickup. That means that the fulfillment center would give you a call, let you know it's ready, and you could go and pick up. The reason why we have the actual fulfillment center give you a call is because some of our fulfillment centers have different hours and we, we want them to be able to have a conversation with you 
and um, plan a good time for you to pick up. Thank you everyone for, for attending today and have a good rest of your day.